No, Fred, we're ready. Good afternoon. I'd like to call the Board of Health meeting to order at 4.04 p.m. If everyone would um, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, okay, so now I'll read the Governor Baker's order. Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the Open Meeting Law, General Law, Chapter 30A, 20, Governor's Executive Orders, the number of people that may place. Although a quorum of the members of the Dudley Board of Health will be physically present for this meeting, no in person attendance of members of the public will be permitted. The meeting will be broadcast on the live on the Dudley Cable Access Television Channel 192, and members of the public can also access the meeting online via YouTube. In the event of an unanticipated interruption in this broadcast, we will post on the town's website an audio, audio or video recording transcript or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. Members of the public who wish to appear before the Board of Health must make an appointment to appear on an upcoming agenda by contacting Michelle at 508-949-8012 or boh at dudleyma.gov. Placement on the agenda is not guaranteed, however, and persons requesting to appear before the Board of Health should not attend a meeting in person unless and until the appointment has been confirmed by the Board of Health. Persons with matters appearing on a meeting agenda may request that they attend virtual rather than in person. Such requests should be directed to Michelle at 508-949-8012 or boh at dudleyma.gov. No more than 72 hours, not counting Saturdays, Sundays, or legal holidays in advance so that appropriate arrangements can be made. However, persons or representative with matters appearing on the meeting notice agenda who wish to be physically present at the meeting must observe the following requirements. In accordance with existing requirements imposed by the governor, meeting rooms will be limited in terms of the total number of persons that may be physically present at the same time, including board or committee members and staff. Satellite rooms will be available for overflow, and the meeting will be broadcast in real time in those satellite rooms. Persons who wish to participate in any particular matter on the meeting agenda will be asked to wait in the satellite room until that agenda item is reached at which point attendees will be rotated in between the main meeting room and the satellite rooms as appropriate. Social distancing must be maintained in both the main meeting room and in satellite rooms. Face masks or coverings will be required in accordance with the Governor Baker's May 1, 2020 COVID-19 order number 31. Order requiring face coverings in public places where social distancing is not possible. A copy of that order can be found at mass.gov. Uh, May 1, 2020 masks and face coverings download. Failure to comply with these requirements may lead to an attendee's removal from the meeting. Okay. Hmm. Sounds like a lot longer than <sighs> before to me. I know. Well, <laughs> it's going to change anyway, so. Exactly. Huh. All right, so we did the <laughs> pledge. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk about COVID. So let's go into um, our health agent reports and comments first. Then we'll go to the health nurse. Then we'll, anybody, we can all discuss and go from there, and we will give an update on COVID and everything. So, Jamie, um, this is your first in-person Board of Health meeting. Welcome. Thank you. If anyone's watching, um, our new health agent is Jamie Terry, and last time she was here via telephone because it was very short notice. <laughs> so we appreciate you coming. Thank you. Anything going on in the town that we should know about that's anything... I mean, the response to COVID is kind of what's taking up my time with, with um, Roberta's. And as we go through, going through the messaging, administrator just start getting Roberta, so I apologize. A message throughout the High rate of cases. Careful and cautious. Okay. 
sacred numbers and from there just seems to be where I got it I'm not I don't really know and washing masks and just not and parties and And I haven't yet, but like we're still stuck in eight. So a little bit as far as so I don't I didn't really have to kind of to do the best that we can. We can at least slow things. Doing it too, so it's not. But there are other towns. That, you know, so remain diligent. About Um, the schools oh I know not um, and I know Nichols changes today last I it was like a ghost town the students are starting to That are negative. They're, they're finish up the next week mm -hmm. from so the, the I guess I would COVID numbers is yeah. It was in such a short. We we had been one. Whoa! Right. But it is what it is. You're. We were low for a bit. Station to gather. Been able to connect them. in the interviews that may not be a connection right maybe the people they don't have it's kind of too late to in your other town local in every single not clusters that are so cluster right, that's yeah, not we're like, like oh. it just Chowton Board of Health touch base to make sure that as smooth as it can something just so that the public knows we we're going to exactly when yeah, probably right. and, and and through the chair this morning and The school race out if we needed it to request 
the nurses out for the overtime. Um, that's, I think, Roberta and I have done a good job. We have some wonderful nurses to help us, so. That's very That's why the meeting with everything, um, decided to kind of send out the Because right. it's so close to them on a Thursday, I think. You know, it's a good thing, too. So we are about doing things, but we out in regional school district. Uh, Michelle and I beginning of it um, we were checking everyone in happy to be there um, I don't it didn't yeah. seem like yeah. I we didn't get to see it was very well attended yeah and it was a success very good so it, it is good to know that we can do that that was done jointly with the Chalton Board of Health as well um, you know, and we are working closely with them because we are a regional, di we're a regional school district. So, mm -hmm. but that was, and we know that we can, if we need to, we can throw together something right. else exactly. again. You know, mm -hmm. so that was that was a good comfort. It was, yeah. it was very well. It, I thought it went. Very I talked well. to a few of those parents, and they and I had asked them how they felt. It was our, I said it's our first time doing it. So I'd love your feedback, and they're like, oh no, it was great. She's like. I thought like we sat in the car for 20 minutes and before I knew it was, we were done in 10. So, Good. so they were, they, they, you know, they felt in the beginning there was a little bit of a, a hang up, but um, then they said it was pretty smooth. So they said it was really convenient to not have to get out of the car, make an appointment at a doctor's office, go in right. and wait in a line with other people. So they liked it. Yeah, it was yeah. great with the online scheduling. Mm -hmm. you could, they literally just went online, chose a time, Nice. Michelle, uh, Jamie gave Michelle and I the printouts. Mm -hmm. When they got there, we highlighted them, yeah. gave them different folders depending on, you know, what they were doing. We were seeing if their child was a little nervous. We had some, yeah. a few. We had one child who was excited and couldn't wait to get <laughs> their shot. So <laughs> that kind of oh made God. our day. Yeah. That's so funny. Um, you know, I, I, the, the two, uh, the Board of Health admins from Charlton. They ran that day, and the CERT <laughs> member, boy, did they run copy and insurance cards. You know, stop. they they were back and forth. So I'll work checking again. Any time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it, I thought it was very successful. I think that, like you said, we had a couple of things that we worked out, um, bugs or so. But I think that um, the, I think it was just a paperwork um, yeah. scenario, and I think that um, it proves that if uh, that, you know that was a. So, mm -hmm. um, person, but it was it was great. What I've learned from a couple of between nine and ten. Maybe we haven't talked about this yet, but. Then the lag at the end, of and keep it. Other town that I know of that. Oh, yeah. But they did it. And we did, but they set them up. Lesson learned. Absolutely. Beautiful oh day. So it really was. It was so cold out there. Um, <gasps> like their fingers weren't feeling very well. So and wrote. I know, but. 
up. So I think that that you may Party email work. No. Take him the credit. You need it all. No, for next year. And the girls are awesome. Came. It was amazing. Travel. No. About the uh, Marsh had put something up. He updated it. Just nurses now. If they're going to mass, it's on mass. That couple places that we. Giving <laughs> uh, yes. so so we're all today. gonna go to Vermont. I had some mental plan. Um, governor, reminder of the guidelines for. Yeah. Things. Use yeah. you have your core Jesus. people. But it's hard. I. It's hard to. Do, but you just. Yeah, there's all. <laughs> That's it. Right? It's a. Why not? It's you a. Know. Button. Um, reminders to the general public. Um, the mass. When you're in public. With non household, um, but the other thing to remember if you're, you know, if your best to the public as well, it's fine, don't send them to school. Don't go to work to you. We think about ourselves mm -hmm. or limit the spread. And right now. Anything you'd like to? I'm good. <laughs> okay. From my video, you know, what we're doing, we're you know, protocol, and very successful, very happy. So, main thing. Last board of. week more in-person meetings at the town hall um, we're just gonna give it a little break if we need to meet which the, there's a good possibility we'll need to meet right. we will meet via zoom uh, we're one of those boards that need to you know hopefully stay we, connected yes <laughs> hopefully we you know it'd be nice to say no we don't need to everything's know, going right? smoothly yeah. but if we need to we would meet via zoom and it would be broadcast on YouTube so, you know, um, I don't think company updates. Stay home. <laughs> town hall. Huh? Yeah, the, 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 the town hall is going to be changing, and I believe um, 
John Ruder is going to talk about at the Selectmen's meeting Monday night. Um, we're just to keep things as the town hall we're even looking into how can we prevent things mm -hmm. so just like the schools have done you have different cohorts we have two different groups we have a group one and group two um, as for an example Michelle and I will not be in the building at the same time she's group one I'm group two so when she's here I work remotely from home when I'm here, she'll be working remotely from home. We still will have contact. I'll have, you know, when we work remotely, we'll still have the phones and everything. Um, we will be open still to the public. Your best bet, if you're going to come to the town hall, call the office you're looking for. They will have information on the um, answering machine as to what the hours are and if they're available in person or via, via phone. And then there'll be some additional changes coming up in the future in December for the town hall, which I think is going to be beneficial. Some more um, screenings and information. So if anything happens, we have contact tracing. The goal is, is not to wipe out the entire town hall if mm -hmm. someone gets it, right. you know, right. just yeah. so that we're, it's only part of us. So it makes sense. it's the best thing mm -hmm. that we can do at this time. Yeah, we realize that. Being proactive. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly, oh, being proactive. Like so, um, so the boards, I don't know how, well, we, we did the schedule already for every, we, everybody knows when they're supposed to be here and when they, I'll talk to you, <laughs> make okay. sure you get it. Yeah. Um, basically, it's just if you, we needed to sign something or something like that. and we would make sure that you get in okay on the right day either Michelle or I so um, anything else not for me you could put minutes the last one um, what's up the minutes minute. oh we forgot about minutes yeah, we haven't done minutes yet yeah no, I, didn't, oh. I, haven't, I nope. haven't done yet that's fine yeah, no. so no worries I haven't gotten to that yet. Um, I guess I would just say I wish everybody a healthy and happy and safe Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, enjoy the best you can. If you have any questions, you can always contact the Board of Health Office, 508-949-8012, um, or email boh at dudleyma.gov, and Michelle will get it off to either Roe or Jamie, depending on what it is. Mm -hmm. um, you can always call the health nurse. Mm -hmm. Do you know your number? I know my number now. Okay, what's your number? 508-206-8104. Beautiful. Last time I didn't know. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know. You can <laughs> always call, leave a message, and Rose really good about getting back in touch. And if it's after hours and you need to reach, you can always call the police dispatch at 508-943-4411, and they will reach out to the health agent, the chair, and get and it someone, into, yeah, yeah get in touch with the proper person, so. Seeing nothing else, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> second that. I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Um, Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned at 428. Thank you.